hello guys welcome back to this Arduino tutorial series so in the all previous videos we were talking about the different senses different actuators and we learned about the different programming concepts like the uh, array handling with the arrays or different array operations in the Arduino programming now um, but the thing in the previous videos was the data that we have collected from the senses the data that we have collected from different senses or the data that we are having in the system is stored in the system temporarily why temporarily because we can use that data the all the information that we have collected only when the system is on and once the system is turned off and it turned back on all the previous information will be get erased so we have lost our all previous data our Arduino board is not having enough storage to store that data for a longer time or to store that data permanently. To overcome this problem, the concept of file handling is used in the Arduino programming. It's but not essentially in the Arduino programming but in all programming languages like C, Python, C++ and all other programming languages. So the basic aim or the basic idea behind using this file handling concept is to create the files to store the information to store the data permanently so that we can use or we can access that data whenever we need even our system is turned on after the shutdown so uh, by you for using this concept of file handling in our Arduino or for the Arduino programming language you have to use an external storage device which is called an SD card. So an SD card is a secondary storage de device which can be used to store the data in terms of file to create separate files like comma separated file or excel files to store the data in your SD card and that data will remain in the SD card until you erase or you, or you delete that particular file that you have created using the programming. So in this video, I'm just going to give you an idea how you can interface your SD card with your Arduino board and how you can synchronize or how you can initiate uh, communication or storing data from your Arduino board to your SD card. So before moving ahead, there are few things to understand or few things to know about this uh, file handling or this uh, what you can say SD card module. So this is an SD card module which is available in the market which is having the six pins. The, these six pins are used to interface this SD card module with the Arduino board. And this block that you are that you can see here is the slot for chip or you can see micro SD card. So this module is available in the six pins. The two pins are VCC and the ground which are of course needed for this module to power this uh, board, whole board. The operating voltage for this module is 2.7 to 3.6 volt but most generally 3.6 volt is used um, for powering this Ar module with the Arduino board. The remaining four pins are used for initiating the uh, serial communication. This works on the serial uh, peripheral interface communication that's called SPI communication. So these four pins um, MISO master in slave out master out slave in s c k or the clock pin and c s pin this is this is also called ss pin or the chip set pin these are used for the communication or for interfacing this device with your arduino board this c s pin enables the communication or the data transmission from this uh, your arduino board to your uh, sd card for writing the data and enables the reading uh, operation from your SD card to your Arduino board. That means you can access the files from your SD card module to your Arduino board. And this CSCK pin is the clock pin which synchronizes the rate of communication or this is the clock pin for the data transmission. These master in uh, MISO or MOSI are the communication master for the communication between master and the slave. So let's open our Protis software and interface this, this SD card module with our Arduino board. This is the Protis interface and we have the thing 
or the components that we use for this RD, for this project um, are one Arduino board and one SD card module with chip enabled in it. I'm using just the software here. So the VCC and the ground pin are disabled here and already not provided on my SD card module. So I'm just having my four pins. CLCK or CS, CSCK pin which is the clock pin. DO means master in slave out. Uh, and DI means master out slave in pin and CS pin is the uh, chip set pin which enables or disables the communication between the Arduino and the SD card module. The library that you need for this SD card module will be provided in the description box. You can download this library for using this component and the pins that are used for the serial communication are pin number 13, 12, and 11 of the Arduino board and 10 uh, you can use any pin for this um, CS pin chipset pin um, for now I'm using my pin number 10 you can see here that there are two there are uh, two buttons that are available on the Arduino it is uh, SD card module you can just remove this SD card from your board and plug it again so uh, in order to use this software for storing the data or for working with the file handling you have to just double click on this board and go to the edit properties and in the program section you have to include an SD card image file I will provide I will also provide this file in the description box you can download this file from there without any so, so that you can start working with your projects without any errors without any issues this is only needed for the software purposes you do not need to include this file in your uh, hardware so just double click on this file and open the arduino ide for writing the program for this as i said that this sd card module or this file handling uh, process or file handling concept of arduino board works on the serial communication interface serial peripheral interface communication spi communication so you have to include this spi communication like spi library here and for handling with the sd card module you have to include sd card library now i'm declaring one variable called cs which is the chipset pin variable i'm i'm because i'm connecting my chipset um, pin of my sd card module to digital pin 10 of my arduino board so i have given uh, 10 as the value for my cs variable now in the void setup function i'm just starting the serial communication because this is needed to start the serial communication between the user and the microcontroller uh, and the arduino board now uh, I'm waiting for the serial monitor. I'm waiting for the serial port to be get connected. If it's not connected, then I have to wait. And once it is connected, this loop will be get terminated, and my program will jump to next step. So in the next step, I'm I'm waiting for my CS pin to be get connected. To to be get connected means to enable the communication between uh, the user and between the microcontroller and the SD card so if it is not connected then this information that initialization failed that means uh, it's not enabled for the communication this information that initialization failed will be get printed on the serial monitor using the serial dot print ln command and if this thing is again true that means if this thing is again true using the uh, while true command this thing will repeat again and again and once this statement is false that means once this CS chipset pin is enabled that means the communication has been started or both the things are has been synchronized this loop will be get terminated and in the else section that means the uh, if if the CS pin is enabled then the, the serial dot print ln command that Arduino will print on the serial monitor that SD card is ready for the communication and for that it will print initialization is done and for now I'm, I'm skipping the loop function or wide loop section because this in this video I'm just going to show you how you can connect and synchronize your SD card module with your Arduino board and in the next video I will create a file I will write the file I will write my data into the file and I will fetch data from the file so let's compile our code and check for the errors as you can see my program is error free or my 
this code file is error free and you have to copy the address of your program file just scroll to your right side right by holding this little scrolling bar here and uh, copy the address of this program file from here with extension dot elf open your protea software double click on your arduino board and in the program file section just paste the address that you have just copied you do not need to copy this address again and again you just need to do this for the first time and you can edit your program you can compile and run your circuit uh, in the protea software directly without copying and pasting the address again and again this will fetch the whole program whole edited program again and again once you have edited and uh, done the compilation now start your simulation here here you can see that initialization has been done that that means our sd card module is has been synchronized with you with our with my arduino board and it is ready to store the information so this this was all for today thank you so much for watching